All right, we have two blocks, block A and block B. So block A will have M, A, G. It will have a normal force. It will have friction this time and tension. Block B has a tension and MB G. Our block is going to accelerate this way, so I'm going to make that way be positive, and it's also going to accelerate down, so I'm going to make down positive. So our equation in the x direction will be T minus friction equals mass of A times acceleration. And in the y direction, we're going to have the normal force minus MA, MAG, um, is equal to MA, which is zero, because it's not moving in that direction. So we know the normal force is equal to MAG. The friction force is going to be equal to mu times the normal force. So that equals mu MAG. So that means that tension, so if I plug this in here for this, tension minus mu MAG is equal to M. A, A. And I can solve for T. Mu M A G plus M A A. And eventually I'll use that equation to help me get T uh, with numbers. So now let's go to this side. We have M B G minus T is equal to M B A. So I know what tension is. I'm going to take this right here and plug it in for this. So MBG minus mu MAG plus MAA is equal to MBA. Distribute that through. need to solve for A. I need to get A before I can get tension and before I can do part two, which is the speed from rest. In order to get A, I need to get all the A things on the same side and all the not A things on the other side. So this is equal to MAA plus MBA. And then I can factor and then divide by MA plus MB. If we were doing this the short way with the net force divided by the total mass accelerating equals acceleration, this is what's causing the acceleration, so the MBG, but there's friction, so we subtract out the frictional force. That is the net force that's causing that acceleration. And then this is the total mass that's accelerating. So now if we plug in some numbers, this is 2.25 times 9.8 minus 0.45 times 1.3 times 9.8 divided by 2.25 plus 1.3. This gives us an acceleration of 4.6 meters per second squared. So then we can figure out what T is. So this is 0.45 times 1.3 times 9.8 plus 1.3 times 4.6, which is 11.7, and that is Newton's. And then part B. This is the easiest part. So we're looking for the speeds the blocks are going to have after three seconds. V is equal to V0 plus AT. It starts from rest. Our acceleration was 4.6. 
does that for three seconds, that gives us 13.8 meters per second.